she rode in the car behind a black limousine. She thought about the man she'd known since she was 17. She was glad he was gone, and soon she would forget she was married to the dullest man she had ever met. He never was the kind of man she wanted him to be. They never had that big white house or raised a family. And she called him Mr. Peepers, just a shy, quiet man. She never took time to believe in him or try to understand. And as she gave his dying soul to the preacher man to say, one by one a crowd began to gather around his grave. Forty-four weeping stewardesses with children kneeling down And each one looked just like the man they were laying in the ground Twenty-three fashion models and a girl he called his niece With a disco dancing trophy in the name of the deceased Seventeen playboy bunnies and his next door neighbor's wife they say she caused his heart to quit the night he lost his life. Old Spencer Brown, from a secret rendezvous, she came to say goodbye to the only man she ever knew. And she called him Mr. Peepers, just a shy, quiet man. She never took time to believe in him or try to understand. And as she gave his dying soul to the preacher man to say, one by one a crowd began to gather around his grave. Forty-four weeping stewardesses with children kneeling down, and each one looked just like the man they were laying in the ground. Twenty-three fashion models and a girl he called his niece with a disco dancing trophy in the name of the deceased. Seventeen Playboy bunnies. And she called him Mr. Peeper. <laughs> and she thought he was dull. <laughs> he had a closet big as a warehouse. And they all came out. Twenty-two secretaries. Thirteen cocktail waitresses. One disc jockey, a, a broadcast personality. <laughs> Two truck drivers, and I'm going to tell you, those were the ugliest two women you ever laid your eyes on. <laughs> Dull, friends, is in the eye of the beholder. And Mr. Peepers was anything but dull. So what a guy. <laughs>